we have to get good at changing polar coordinates of a complex number to rectangular coordinates and going back and forth. And you'll see why we have to be good at this in a few days when we get into more polar, uh, complex polar arithmetic involving multiplication, division, um, powers, and roots. Uh, you got to be real good at this. So what I want to do is just work on some calisthenics. These are your polar coordinates. These are your rectangular coordinates. Can we go back and forth between them quickly? I'll pick the first one. Cosine pi over 2 plus i sine pi over 2. Well, if you know your unit circle, you know that this is 0, and this is the number 1, so it becomes 0 plus 1i. Well, 0 plus 1i is, there we go, e. And that's how you do all of these. For example, the next one. Uh, next one says cosine of 0. Now that's 1. Sine of 0, that's 0. 1 plus 0i, that's just 1, and there's a 2 on the outside, so it's 1 times 2. There we go. That's b. So what I'm doing is the kind of slow way. Honestly, it's not a bad way at all, but we are going through these very carefully, step by step. And there is actually a shortcut if you want. Um, it It's useful. What you can do is you can say, okay, hang on a second. What quadrant am I in? I'll use this one as an example. This, uh, this guy right here. What quadrant is that in, if you think about it? Well, the angle is pi over 6. So right away, I should be able to tell this is quadrant 1. And which one of my rectangular coordinates are in quadrant 1? What do we have here? This is in quadrant 3. This right here is in quadrant 4. This over here, real number, let's see. Oh, that's, that's on the axes. That's on the, uh, that's on the real axis. So that's not really in a quadrant, per se. Um, likewise, for this one, that's on the imaginary axis. I gotta have a... Oh, here we are. Q1, right there. Okay, see, this is in quadrant one also. So you can play this kind of quadrant matching game if you like it that way. Um, I, I wouldn't, but it's useful as a double check. Maybe, did I do things right? A sanity check at the end. I would just go through here and take those angles, use your unit circle expertise that you've worked on for so long, and do things like this. Say, oh, pi over 6. Uh, cosine of that is radical 3 over 2. And i sine pi over 6, that's going to be equal to i times 1 half. Okay, and then you can, then you can quickly narrow these things down that way.